So here's my challenge to you. Make a video today. Yahoo, YouTube. I am super Genki. And in today's video, we're gonna do it. We are gonna do it. We are gonna start talking about starting your own YouTube channel. Ha 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 ha. Ho 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 ho. He 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 he. Now this is a video series I've been wanting to make for a long time, but, but I've just been so beaten down by the reality of YouTube that I just haven't gotten around to it. Making videos consistently is not easy. Why is it not easy, Super Genki? There is a difference between the videos you make and the videos you want to make. And that difference is that you're usually seeing the videos from your own perspective. I look at my videos, I like my videos, I post my videos, then I get like 10 views in like one day and I'm like, oh my no, it's terrible, it's a terrible video. Something that you'll have to learn if you really want to start a YouTube channel, if you really want to put your ideas out there, if you really want to talk to people, is that you have to learn how to see your ideas from another person's perspective. Why would another person want to watch your videos? What makes your videos different than every other YouTuber out there? How are you gonna innovate the way that you think so that you can think more like the people that are watching your videos? Because real talk, there's only so much time in every day and you can only watch your videos so many times before YouTube is like, wait buddy, wait, 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 this is the same IP address. Now nah, we're gonna scratch all those views off your video. Not that I have done that though. Guys, I'm serious about this topic because we're talking about making videos and there's a honeymoon phase that you will always go through where you'll be making videos, you'll be really happy. Sure, you won't get that many views, but you'll still be really happy because you'll feel accomplished. Yeah! But then, after a couple of months of grinding, of working, of not seeing any meaningful progress, all your ideas start to fade away. And then you just, you start seeing, it's, it's so much work, it's so hard, so impossible. Why should I even bother continuing on? I thought about it this morning because I was looking at my analytics page for my Conquering Fear video that I posted yesterday and I have like 10 views. Only 10 views. Now you may be thinking, 10 views? That's not so bad, Super Genki. But guys, the problem here was that that video was filmed two weeks ago. I haven't filmed any new videos, so I haven't felt like I've been making any new progress. If you have old videos, that's great. If you want to upload them to your channel, do it but don't fall into the mindset of not making new content because you have to be able to create new videos and new content to sustain the passion within, to sustain that fire that makes you want to grow, that makes you want to improve, that makes you want to get better. But I had a breakthrough yesterday with writing and today is going to be my breakthrough with YouTube. Making my first video in over two weeks. So here's my challenge to you. Make a video today. Even if you don't have a YouTube channel, I'm sure you have some form of social media. Make a video today. I don't know what the video is going to be about. Put yourself on camera and rise to the occasion because you're going to see something. You're going to see yourself inspired. You're going to see yourself invigorated with this new Genki energy. And that can be your tipping point. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends because we need to spread the good word of positive thinking out there to as many people as possible. Yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.